Does the light come on your dashboard and you don't know what it means so you immediately start panicking? Well, dashboard lights come in a variety of colors depending on the make and model of your vehicle. Yellow lights indicate a level of importance, but red lights mean they need your immediate attention. Stay tuned as we go into further detail on the most common dashboard warning lights. Your anti-locking brake system operates by preventing the wheels from locking up during braking and maintaining traction with the road surface. When the slide comes on, your vehicle may not handle stopping on slippery surfaces like it is designed to under heavy braking. The charging system light will illuminate when the vehicle control system detects a problem with either the battery or the alternator. We are happy to do a free check here in our service department for you if you experience this issue. Cruise control is a system that automatically controls the speed of your vehicle that takes over the throttle to maintain the steady speed set by the driver. A common reason for the EPS warning light to illuminate is low power steering fluid. With the light illuminated, you won't have the power assist to help you steer. You will still be able to drive, but the steering wheel will be very difficult to turn, making it dangerous to operate. This one is very simple. It indicates that the headlights have been turned on. When you switch from low to high beams, you will see the high beam indicator turn on in the dash. When you switch back to low from your high beams, the light will go out. If you see this light come on, stop driving immediately and turn the engine off. The engine can be severely damaged if oil pressure is lost. There are many possible causes of the low oil pressure warning light, including low oil level, bad oil pump, defective oil pressure sending unit, oil pressure gauge, or the warning light switch. This indicates that the fuel level is low in your vehicle. Exactly how much fuel that is left in your vehicle when this light comes on varies but should be somewhere between two and three gallons. This light's only function is to let the driver know the washer fluid is low and to remind them to go fill it up. Once you have filled up the reservoir with washer fluid, the light should go out immediately. This light comes on to remind you to change your oil. It comes on 5,000 miles after the last time it was reset. This indicator light flashes after the key has been removed from the engine indicating that the system is operating properly. After the key has been inserted into the engine switch, the system has been canceled and the indicator light will stop flashing. If the system indicates your tires may be slipping, the slip indicator light flashes to remind that the vehicle stability control and or the traction control are operating in order to regain traction. If the light stays on, it could indicate a malfunction with the track or VSC system itself. If the supplemental restraint system light stays on, this is an indication that there is something wrong with the system and it is possibly disabled. This may mean that the airbags will not deploy and the seat belts will not tighten in an accident. There are different reasons that the light may not turn off, such as when an airbag has been deployed and not reset properly, or there's a computer error. In the event of a faulty SRS, you should visit your Toyota dealer immediately. Indicates low inflation pressure. Adjust the tire inflation pressure and the light will turn off after a few minutes. If the light does not turn off, even after the tire inflation pressure is adjusted, have the system checked by your Toyota dealer. These are activated once the driver changes directions and uses the turn signal indicators. If both front wheels get stuck in fresh snow or mud, you may need to turn off both traction control and vehicle stability control so you can rock the vehicle to free it. To turn track off, simply push and release the VSC off button. The track off indicator light should come on the dashboard. Push the button again to turn track back on. Push and hold the button for three seconds to turn off both track and VSC. The track off and VSC indicators will then appear. Push the switch again to turn the track systems back on. You can turn the engine off and track and VSC will come back on when you restart the engine. 
Now, if you're still hesitant and don't exactly know what a warning light means, we always recommend to check your owner's manual or visit your local Toyota dealership for more information.